A combination of Valley officials and medical personnel feared a deadly virus, then Hurricane Hannah. We've seen a slight decline in um, the ER visits as well as um, overall census over the past few days. Um, that may be a product of just the hurricane and folks not wanting to get out and, and so forth. But, um, uh, you know, only time will tell. Todd Mann, CEO for South Texas Health System, McAllen, says despite the slight decline, his hospital is over 100% capacity and heavily counting on the Army. I think took the pressure off them and, and we're able to augment their staff so that we can continue to care for the patients and uh, increase their capacity. Army Commander Colin Freeman leads the medical task force inside McAllen Medical Center, a group from places like Fort Bragg, consisting of more than 80 ICU nurses, doctors, and pharmacists. We have to work closely together. You have to, you know, are constantly moving. I mean, it's busy. But, uh, uh, you know, the thing I take away from this is just the the ability to build teams quickly with the staff of this hospital and just the the successes of, of watching that system work as we as we help them the commander says it's been very busy however because of the army staff helping out man says the hospitals added more than 30 beds prior to the dod many many patients were being held in er's across the valleys and very various uh, hospital ERs, and we desperately need to get those patients out of the ER setting uh, and into a hospital bed. Man says they were ready for the hurricane and had only minor damages around the facility, and that goal remains controlling the spread of COVID-19. We just hope that uh, people again take this seriously, they do the right thing, um, and that we can see some of the pressures off of the healthcare systems uh, decline and um, you know, while we have these great heroes that are that are assisting our hospitals and our community, uh, they are human and they are tired and, um, you know, that can only last for so long. And Man says how long the Army will be here depends on how many people come into the hospitals. Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 10.